I was 18. I had moved to Melbourne for uni and had just come out, so I was pretty new to the gay scene. I had trouble meeting people to date, so I downloaded a few apps. At first I had Tinder, but the messages were so slow and half the guys didn't reply. I was young, I mean I had urges, and I wanted to explore them. So I made an account with Grindr. The messages were very upfront. Things like, can I jack you off? What shorts are you wearing? And you looking for this? With a picture of something that would be pixelated on The Sims. But eventually, I had met a few guys. And after a few times, I got tired of Grindr, so I deleted it. Then I re-downloaded it. Then I deleted it. And then I re-downloaded it again. He came over to my dorm room one night. We had sex, and it was fine. Nothing that couldn't be remade with a dildo and the scenes of Call Me By Your Name. A couple days later, I was having trouble, um, passing things. It was like my genitals were being set on fire. Every passing caused pain. I wouldn't say level 10, more like a 4. I figured it was a bad case of brown rain, but after three days it had gotten worse and the pain had reached an 8. So I had a rectal examination, possibly one of the most uncomfortable things I've been through. Then the doctor gave me a sexual health test. A swab, a swish, and a blood drive. Sex ed at school had covered everything to do with pregnancy, shark week, and periods. But not for gay guys. Not really. The test came back, and I contracted gonorrhea. The nurse treated me with an injection in my ass and a single pill the size of a Chico baby. A $20 Chico baby. The injection felt like if a bear bit your arm off while your family dog watched with complete apathy. The burning was gone by the end of the day, and the fire was out. But then I had to let the person know that I had it, which they responded with, I got checked and I'm fine. So I had to go further and further and further back. Each guy, one after the other, denied having given it to me. I shut down after that. I deleted Tinder and Grindr. I felt vulnerable, out of control. Why would someone lie to me about such a condition, and why wouldn't they just fess up? I have myself to blame though. I should have just tried dating, or used a condom for more things than just butt play. Technology might be a part, so you're talking here about dating apps. Are your patients coming in and saying that they're using them and making contact with more people than ever before? The latest figures in Australia's sexual health show nearly 1,800 Australians were diagnosed with syphilis last year. That's the highest number of cases ever recorded. For Meals on Wheels home delivery where you maybe seek sex within five minutes, if it's not available within five minutes, many people don't want it and many people specifically don't want safe sex.